First of all, we need to have a moment of silence for the chicken strip foam. It's gone. I don't know when it left, but it's gone. It's sad. Second, uh, Kasha actually tagged me in something on Twitter today that she bought me a present. She was out was seeing a coworker and they went to a toy store for that coworker's kid. So I have a present waiting for me when I get home and I'll make sure that you get to see it at the same time that I do. Welcome to Thursday, friends. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And today, today was one of those days where I really didn't know what I was gonna be filming and then something just kind of out of the blue happened. I was actually at the bus stop waiting to get on my bus this morning and a woman walked up to the bus stop. I've seen her a few times there and she had a really nice Manfrotto tripod. She also had a really nice uh, low pro camera bag and I kind of took my headphones off and just started up a conversation. I said, so what, you, what, are, you, uh, what are you photographing today? What are you, what are you helping to get some shots of? And she looked at me dead in the eye and smiled and said, I don't know, I never know. Instantly had this connection with her because I, I'm in the exact same way. I bring this camera to work with me or go on a trip or something. I have no idea what I'm gonna shoot before I get there. And maybe that's something I should think about doing in the future, but right now, I really like the way that the creative process happens when I don't have any idea what I'm gonna shoot that day. It's an unusually warm, May for Portland. It's like in the 80s today and I'm in flannel long sleeves. Day's already started but let's get the vlog started. What do you say? We are almost ready for bed. We had some delicious dinner, just the two of us. I am getting packed for a trip. See, my fake mustache. So I'm gonna let her hold this camera and we're gonna do an unboxing of this present. I have a seat in the special unboxing seat. It says, Thinker Toys. It's not my birthday. That's in a different month. Wow! So many figs! This is a new series. I hope there's some cool ones. Series 17 minifig. What? Did you pick this one on purpose by feeling it? I, I don't think so. I got the cool one. I got the corn man. <laughs> I was actually hoping for the puppy. I've been trying. I, so the the first one I got was actually the corn man. I know he's got a name, but I'm not sure what it is. But it's just a dude in a corn suit. And for the last series, I don't know if you're familiar with the way that Legos does these, but it's basically a blind bag. And the last series, I was hoping to get, they had a guy in a banana suit but I never, I never found him. And so I was a little bit boned by that. But when they came out with series 17, which is this new set, they had a guy in a corn suit. What's this guy? I was wrong on both of them. I thought puppy and uh, butterfly. Puppy and butterfly, Kasha says, is what she thought. Uh, we got corn and mohawk. Corn man and barbarian boy. All right, so we got to get on to this tag that I was telling you about earlier from AKR Life. 
and then I gotta go to pack my bag and go to bed. So let's go do this tag. Uh, I was tagged to do the movie songs, five top movie ever songs tag YouTube game. I'm not, I'm not sure what the real title is. Anyway, I was tagged by Keith and Abby from AKA Our Life. If you don't already watch them, go check them out. And I think the rules are that they can't be uh, musicals and it can't be like a film score. So I couldn't have done like the theme to Jurassic Park. Now my number five is uh, White Christmas by The Drifters. Uh, it's been in tons of different movies. It's like the really jazzy version of White Christmas that Kevin McAllister sings while he's combing his hair in the bathroom in uh, Home Alone. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh, and then my number two mid 2000s uh, cartoon of Curious George and it's sung by Jack Johnson and it's called Upside Down. And I loved Curious George as a kid. So Kasha and I went to see this movie. We were in college at the time. And we went to see that movie as soon as it came out. I loved it. I cried, I think. Number three is uh, Somewhere Beyond the Sea, the version by Robbie Williams. And it is the end credits song from Finding Nemo. Somewhere beyond the sea This one has really good feelings for me because Kasha and I, after we got married, we'd never had cable and we just put in movies all the time. There's almost always a Disney movie or a cartoon or some other really happy, upbeat movie going on in our home almost at all times. She loves Nemo and we would always fall asleep on the weekends watching Nemo or something like that. Fall asleep 30 minutes into the movie and I, one of us would wake up when the credits were rolling and that was always Somewhere Beyond the Sea by Robbie Williams. The next one is actually, the next two are actually my two favorite movies all time, so we'll tie a little extra Colin trivia into this. Uh, and the number two song is actually Donka Shane by Wayne Newton from, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Picture show, second balcony, was the place we meet, second and then my number one is probably going to surprise some people. Uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the vlog, but my favorite movie of all time is is actually You've Got Mail, starring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. I don't really know why it's my favorite movie of all time, but I can quote the thing from beginning to end. I, I know everything about this movie and I love it. So my number one song is the song from, not the very first song with the, with the credits or whatever, but the second song when uh, Joe and Kathleen are both walking up like by the Flatiron Building in New York City and they're going to their Starbucks that they have never noticed each other at before. And it's a song called Dreams by the Cranberries. I love that song, I love that scene, uh, I, I like the cinematography of that scene a lot, and so that scene uh, just, you know, makes me feel good, and that song makes me, you know, reminds me of that movie, and uh, Kasha and I binge that movie anytime, that's like, we can't agree on a movie, we can always both agree <laughs> on You've Got Mail, and then uh, it's also my favorite holiday movie because it encompasses so many different days within the span of the movie. This probably went on way too long. Uh, like I said, I'm about to start packing. I've got some laundry going and I'm gonna start packing because uh, I'm going with some friends down to San Jose, California this weekend 
the Timbers are playing against the San Jose Earthquakes, and we always try to make it down there for that game because West Coast flights are really, really cheap, and San Jose is a, a fun little getaway. It's a super short flight, and we always have a great time down there. So wherever you are, whoever you are, whenever you're watching this, I hope you had a wonderful day. Find someone you love, tell them you love them. Peace, and be good to each other, and I will see you next time. Oh, you can't see his face. Whoa!